before the steam engine, you basically just had energy per person would be like, what can you burn with like firewood or a horse or an ox? So this is obviously not much. Now the energy, if you say like total, total sort of human civilization created energy is, is gigantic compared to the past. And th that number per person is going to increase, I think, dramatically over time. This friend of mine that I referred to thinks that we may end up at some point, well, if the trend continues, that it might end up being like a terawatt per person. So, yeah. you know, a big asterisk around if trend yeah. continues, yeah. but if, but energy per person over time, it looks like a wall at the industrial revolution. The same can be said for compute per person over time, the digital versus biological compute. These are really interesting metrics. So basically you know, what I'm saying is we need to tackle this from, from all angles. So that's power wall locally, some amount of local solar power. It just helps a little bit so that, you know, one doesn't have to expand as many substations and build, you know, as many transmission lines, which drive people crazy in, in like suburban neighborhoods. <laughs>